Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great 2024 so far. Um, the purpose of this video is to give you a 10 month update on my experience with the medication Deloxetine in case the insight might be helpful for others of you out there. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I've been taking Deloxetine, the dosage and for how long, the side effects that I've experienced and my plan going forward. So, I have been taking Deloxetine uh, for the treatment of migraine prevention, so I've been taking it daily. I started out taking it at 40 milligrams, and I'm now taking it at 20 milligrams, and that's been over the course of um, 10 months total. Um, so about 8 months at 40 milligrams, and just a couple months now at 20 milligrams. Um, if you have seen my video um, about venlafaxine and duloxetine and my experience with the two, um, you'll have some of my story there. Uh, the side effects that I've been experiencing with the duloxetine have been very similar to what I experienced with the venlafaxine. The reason that uh, my neurologist sw switched me to the duloxetine was because it's in the same class as uh, venlafaxine, they're both SNRIs, which are serotonin reuptake norepinephrine serotonin, I'm getting this backwards, serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. And uh, I actually did really well as far as migraine prevention goes with the venlafaxine and also the duloxetine. So that's why we wanted to try the duloxetine. It's in the same drug class and it's a kind of like a milder version of SNRI. Um, unfortunately for me, I was still having uh, the same kind of side effects that I was having with the venlafaxine, which is, excuse me, I was having muscle jerks, um, especially when I was like dozing off or going to sleep. And I also was having like really intense night sweats, especially at those higher doses. Uh, so I would wake up and need to take a shower before going to work, which it's a little different from my normal schedule, but um, it kind of started to feel like I was going through menopause in my 30s. So <laughs> that wasn't good. Um, but my plan now, I have an appointment with my neurologist next week is to uh, get off of the duloxetine and to ask my neurologist about supplements. And I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes. I kind of was rolling my eyes internally um, about this. But um, the reason that I kind of am going off on a supplements tangent is um, my one of my relatives has actually done really well with a particular set of supplements. Uh, related to energy, cardiac health, and mental health. And while uh, they're using it to address different conditions that run in our family, um, I was doing some research on these supplements and the research and the literature out there suggests that several of these supplements could be beneficial in preventing migraines or even like acting as an abortive for migraines. Um, so I'm willing to try that, especially if they don't have like side effects. Now I know that that means that they're not necessarily, um, just because they're supplements doesn't mean that they won't react to other medications. So I'm definitely going to be talking to my doctor about it. I want to make sure that like I'm going in with an educated understanding of like how to dose those kind of things. Um, I'm also a little bit leery because I know that like insurance doesn't really cover supplements and like my insurance was covering my medications really well, which has been a huge blessing. Um, so I think I might have to kind of strategize which supplements I prioritize. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm very curious to get like my neurologist's opinion and see if she's tried these supplements with other um, with other patients and if they've had any luck. I'm just I'm curious all around. Um, so we'll see. It's a it's a TBD, but I wanted to give that update. Um, know that if you are thinking about taking venlafaxine or duloxetine, um, that my experience will not necessarily be yours. My neurologist um, suggested that because I have other neuromuscular issues going on, that that could be why I'm more susceptible to the muscle jerks. Um, the night sweats from my understanding are pretty common with those kind of medications. 
So um, just something to be aware of. Definitely talk to your doctor. Your body is different um, from my body. And so um, that's, that's really important. Also, if you are taking any of those medications, um, just be aware that it's also really good to talk to your doctor uh, before trying to taper off of those. They can have really extreme side effects if you try to like stop taking those cold turkey. It can be like really crazy. So um, bottom line, make sure you talk to your doctor before making any kind of changes to your medication, before adding or taking away any medications. Um, that's just the, you know, the disclaimer. But hopefully I'll have some encouraging news in the future about maybe some supplements, we'll see. I'm kind of hoping that these supplements will address maybe more than one health issue that I'm dealing with. Maybe it'll benefit migraine, but also help prevent Alzheimer's and dementia, which we have in our family, um, and also address like cardiac issues that we have in our family. So we'll see. Um, I know it's a lot to, uh, to hope for, with supplements. I don't want to put my eggs all in one basket, but I, I've got some hope that they might work. So we'll see. More to come soon. Stay tuned. And uh, if you have any um, experience with duloxetine, venlafaxine, or if you've even tried supplements for migraine, especially if it's been helpful for you, I would love to hear that. I would love to get suggestions. I always love to bring questions to my doctors just about like different ideas and things that could work. Um, so I would love to hear that and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.